Skylark, a nice easy start to his lane, which is normally quite tough against both a Warlock and a Luna. They're lining things up right now, letting Spartan be the leading initiator, and they're wrapping around behind Faith. Faith is going to be the one caught. Disruption leading into an Impale, leading into an Arrow, and that'll be the easiest first blood of Ad Finim's life here at the Min stage. And an important one for them as they need to set the pace for the game for the Alchemist. And one thing that was not touched upon is that nice easy start to his lane, which is normally quite tough against both a Warlock and a Luna. They're lining things up right now, letting Spartan be the leading initiator. And they're wrapping around behind Faith. Faith is going to be the one caught. Disruption leading into an Impale, leading into an Arrow. And that'll be the easiest first blood of Ad Finim's life here at the Min stage. And an important one for them as they need to set the pace for the game for the Alchemist. And one thing that was not touched upon is that Kaka is on the Bat Rider, and yes. Kaka is the support player. So he is going to be, he was napalming mid. I was like, what? What is he doing over there? But he, yeah, yeah. he's support. They switched it up in the last minute, throwing KP on the Sand King. And oh, he gets arrowed arrow. yet again. No need for a disruption here. Kaka, who leveled up Sticky Napalm to try and harass that Alchemist in the mid lane, is in serious trouble. Maybe next time, trying to body block him. They'll also have the disruption into the impale once again. At Finham's teamwork, looking spot on here. And he doesn't even knock off the clarity. Yeah, that there's probably another arrow coming his way. Or maybe just a neutral. And Kaka's really deep in the Radiant jungle. Maybe part of his job is to stop the stack. And Kaka, is he going to spot out? Nope. Spartan's going to be caught. Bro strike into all this sticky napalm. Spartan really doesn't stand a snowball's chance in hell. Not with all this fire around. Newbie finally get themselves on the board here. Two to one. Yeah, and... Kaka does have an reserve ward over here. Have free info about the Nyx Assassin moving around the map at this I, point in time. I don't know if they have enough damage. He has a fair amount of armor, so the Vendetta and plus the Swarm, it's going to be pretty difficult. Lead with Vendetta, or maybe an Impale does catch him during the Sandstorm, but will be enough. He has a Burrow Strike. That's why Skylark puts himself forward with the Spike Carapace. KP will go farther down the river, but he tries to go for a TP out. It's just not going to happen, though. Both an arrow, a disruption, and all the right click damage you could ask for. Comes down from Mad Finim for third kill. Yeah, that was a tough game for for a kill there, but now he's going to rotate over and try and catch SC. SC trying to contest the room, but Thug will manage to pick up an arcane, and arrow nails him from behind, and they're going to be able to combo up these stuns quite nicely. SC not going to be able to make it out of here. Spartan's going to be able to get the extra kill, looks like. They don't have a stun up. Impale is down, but the Spike Carapace will hold cock. But Skylark's already in position. He's got the creep wave. He's soloing it up, so they may actually be able to make a trade-off here while still keeping efficiency on map. And Madara, Whoa, he's walked he's, into a ward. That is too much of a dangerous game, my friend. He's just going to get bursted down. Thought he could rely on the time lapse, but one stun and one sentry is all that's needed to be able to bring him low. The TP out from KP is he's actually going to try and contest this tier one tower, at least try and go for the deny. Skylark is, does manage to take it, thanks in part to the spike carapace. KP waits it out, though, does manage to get the stun, but the epicenter. But Skylark's already in position. He's got the creep wave, he's soloing it up, so they may actually be able to make a trade off here while still keeping a Efficiency on map. And Madara, Whoa, he's walked he's, into a war. That is too much of a dangerous game, my friend. He's just going to get bursted down. Thought he could rely on the time lapse, but one stun and one sentry is all that's needed to be able to bring him low. The TP out from KP is he's actually going to try and contest this tier one tower, at least try and go for the deny. Skylark is does manage to take it, thanks in part to the spike carapace. KP waits it out, though, does manage to get the stun, but the epicenter is going to be hard to track as Skylark gets himself out of the way with a vendetta. Now he's actually still trying to set up on KP because from the south, Spartan is going to try and cut KP off. KP doesn't have a whole lot of mana to work with, no magic stick charges. If Spartan can just hit the purge. I think this is going to be enough. KP already brought low. One nuke is all it should take. A couple of right clicks and the purge can easily finish him off. The TP in from the Luna will not be able to save him. Can't even get any damage out in the Skylark as he blocks it all back with another beautifully timed spike carapace. They are almost could have killed the Luna right there if they had set up a disruption into an arrow on him. And mm -hmm. maybe it looks like that's what they're aiming for. He, they don't have vision of her as she goes to the right side of the map. They don't have a ward up onto that side. But with the trees cut down, is it going to get caught? They do have the Eclipse, but he doesn't get it off in time. Now they're going to be able to combo stuns up. No, he actually sidesteps the arrow. He can actually turn with the Warlock dropping the Chaotic Offering. They're going to be able to blow up the Shatter Demon. It seems like catch the Nyx Assassin as well. He turns for an Impale, but it doesn't matter. Run down by Newbie's heroes as they bait out U9. Perfect use of the Warlock Ultimate. And
So he's in serious trouble, not just close to the Radiance, but also at his ultimately exposed area. Gonna be caught here by the, uh, they're gonna be able to catch it, but the disruption goes down first. The lasso and its damage is gonna be a bit ineffective. Marana tries to put a stop to it, but ultimately they do manage to get that kill. Can they catch anybody in the process though? A TP's coming in from the Nyx Assassin, trying to put himself in front of the Batrider with a Spike Carapace, and he will manage to at least catch one, but that is still slowing down the Radiance, and they only traded what is a support Batrider. Not that there's no creeps there, and Newbie probably taking a look at their economic game. They use a lot of smokes, hasn't yielded the most kills, and both their Blink Dagger wielders are not okay, even halfway nailed there. Up maybe next time with a beautiful rotation to bottom lane. Red KP's rotations beautifully, but oh my god, he just burrow struck into the trees. They're going to be able to come in with the Eclipse, blows up maybe next time, and they actually survive on KP and get a counter kill. That's a huge play from KP. That was just not the real, real good fight that they were looking for. So KP and they think the stun duration is long enough, but it wasn't a max duration. And the dust comes out. He doesn't hit with the Shikuchi damage. And he blinks into an impossible area for them to scout. Unless you leap right on top of him or they have a swarm. That's another thing. The dust came out late, so the swarm wasn't able to stick on top of the Sand King. <laughs> Eight to six, 16 and a half minutes in, a 4,000 gold lead for Ad Finim, 2,000 experience. KP, KP going to be caught by another arrow from maybe next time. This time around, he preemptively does. He does not want to let KP escape again. He tries to put him on this cliff, doesn't quite make it, but the TP, he won't get out in time. A disruption stops him, and KP will fall nine to six now. And his current gold right before that, 1850. Oh, man, he gets knocked down to 1,500, and he's out of the game for 40 seconds. This blink they can at least keep within uh, within striking distance of Madara's net worth. Sitting AK. Oh, the arrow gonna come out. Maybe next time. How does he keep on landing these? Skylark holds on to the spike carapace until he was in the perfect spot too. Just in case, but really, maybe next time. Didn't need that extra to have that Manta before oh. Newbie can end it. They are going to be able to do a four-man smoke wrap around here. The two supports in mid lane. They are going to be the victims, or at least one of them here. Spartan on the Shadow Demon buys himself a momentary reprieve, but the disruption ultimately will not pay. Tier 1 tower is going to fall because of that. And Venom will fly. cost KP his life. He gets stunned up, but he also Burrow Strikes out. Gets a little bit distance away from Madar. He's going to be chased down. He doesn't have Burrow Strike. No Sandstorm. Nothing. He is going to be chased down underneath this Tier 1 tower. Time lapse and Madara. Hit and run for him, getting the 11 kill for Ad Finum. Now it's, they're, they're really desperate when it Which direction? Skylock will pop the smoke. They do have dust. Batrider runs the wrong direction, blinks onto a spike carapace. Not able to catch Skylark just yet. They bounce him forward instead of backwards. He gets an impale off. The dust is wearing low and they will manage to catch him, but they're in a nasty position. They're inside the secret shop. They're gonna try and play the high ground here. The jump forward. Madara's gonna be caught by the chaotic offering, but does manage to time lapse it off. They also jump forward on a Spartan, but the Batrider's already down. Eclipse moving forward, does manage to clean up Spartan. Maybe next time leaves himself barely out of it, but the Luna is almost down. He gets burned out by the Radiance, and Madara searches for more. The Sand King, the Timber Saw, they might have gotten maybe next time, but they are dropped dangerously low. Alchem is gonna be able to come in, hits him with a concoction. That's a Timber Saw down. And a big kill for Ad Finan as they pick up their fourth kill in exchange for their two stronger. Like Marana can yeah. transition into a core, although she's building a scepter herself, so like they still have a lot of room to grow and maybe oh, they need He wasn't this careful fight. enough. SC, no vigilance here. KP is gonna be caught as well by the impale. He tried to blink in and get a bro strike off, but Skylark strikes first. This offlaner beginning to shine now for Ad Venom. They're going to be able to run down some extra heroes. Poor Faith, he knows that he's done for. He's these thug, big and bad. Running forward on the Alchemist, claims that double kill. And presumably, Ad Venom will be able to get an objective out of this as well. It's going to be Roshan. What they're going to be attempting here, Newbie, without their big team fight ultimates of both the Epicenter and Chaotic Offerings, seem unlikely to be able to contest this, particularly with the heavy damage of Ad Finum. They try and come in, and he's just not going to be there in time for a Chakram. The Roshan will go down, and an Aegis picked up by the Alchemist. Now they're actually trying to turn Skylark. Does stun up Kaka. They almost finish him off. They need a little bit more burn damage to make Kaka's sacrifice worth it. SC's going to be chased down by Madara at the same time. They disruption. Thog going to be pulled up on the cliff, but he does bounce back down over to Madara. Mad as he's still trying to chase down SC. KP thought about an epicenter, started charging up. He cancels instead, opting for the stun. And that is going to be able to get the kill on Madara without the ultimate. I feel I'm a little bit reckless as they move in. Probably really happy about getting yet another chicken kill, but going in way too deep without the help of the Alchemist. Alchemist does not have the mobility that the Weaver has.
Don't want to concede any other kills. At least give someone the axe before. And who did he? Oh, the arrow nailed him. He caught him on the right side oh. of the map. Batrider thought he was going to be in position for a firefly, but it's going to be Ad Finum who catch him first. The smoke rotation of Ad Finum works out. They're going to be able to push into this tier two tower now. Need a big combo. Sand King epicenter into Fatal Bonds Warlock. That's. Pretty much all they can do. There is still no BKB on the Alchemist, uh, nor jump uh, forward. There's their initiation. Immediately stop. Skylight in place with the spike hair base. They try and drop the chaotic offering, catching multiple heroes here. But Thug is right in the middle of so these heroes, and they're dropping low. Thug, he's hit by the eclipse, brought down as SC gets the, the jump onto him. But still, Madara comes forward with his BKB. He's already cleaned up Faith. And Thug, this is round two with him. Yep. He's got his ultimate ready to go. They've got time lapse. As well, Madara's just sitting in the back, ready to go. If they jump on Thug, this time around, they don't have their big ults. That was everything that they had. I don't think Newbie have what it takes to fend off this just over-farmed Alchemist. Skylark jumping forward, does manage to catch U9. They're going to combo stun him. KP just can't do anything about it. His Blink Dagger constantly stopped by Thug's illusion. They're going to buy back on U9. But KP is so low and struggling to be able to find space to be able to charge up an epicenter and find a blink. So at Finum, they see the melee racks is down, a buyback force. They back themselves away in a domineering position. And newbie, what do they have left? Push back on the Alchemist, slow him down at the bare minimum until Luna comes in from uh, from behind with that Eclipse. Faith might die on the right side oh, to these Jesus, illusions. These illusions just will not stop. Faith is dead between the combination of bugs and the illusion burn. Now U9's going to be targeted. He doesn't have a BKB, so he's going to be whomped on by all these heroes. Bounce back by the jump. KP comes forward. He does manage to catch by a Madara, but it doesn't matter. Newbie, they are so ineffective. They can't stop Ad Finum. Ad Finum going crazy inside the booth, cheering, yelling.